Good morning church and welcome to our morning devotion. I hope you all are doing good. Sometimes we may ask this question, if God already knows our needs, then why do we need to pray? If we don't understand the purpose of prayer, we probably won't be motivated to pray. Imagine there is a huge building having a lot of rooms and in one room there is wisdom, in another room there is courage, in another room there is kindness and so on and on. But the problem is that the, all the do- doors are locked and you can open all the doors in this building with, with, with just one master key. So you have an option, you can choose that master key to open all the doors in this building or if you don't use the key, none of the doors will open for you. That's a picture of how prayer works. God won't automatically do everything for us. Instead, of, instead He has given us a key to use which is prayer. We can say that prayer is a privilege. But if you don't use the prayer key, the door will remain closed for some of the God's blessing. Also, prayer helps us to develop a relationship with God. What if, uh, suppose, what if prayer didn't exist? Suppose God didn't provide any way to contact Him when we are in trouble. Imagine God said, you cannot talk to me and I won't talk to you. And I will not interfere in your affairs. In that case, there won't be any prayer. But the good news is that God wants us to pray so that we can get to know God in a much better way. Also, we can say that God, prayer is connecting our heart to God's heart. Also, prayer is like talking to God what's in our heart. What's That's why the Bible says in Psalm that to pour out, our, uh, pour out your heart before Him. Also, James says that to draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Yes, drawing near isn't referring to distance because God is inside of us. It's talking about drawing nearer to God in our hearts. For example, there is a, like we can say about a husband and wife. They can be standing next to each other, but their hearts can be miles apart from each other. Also, we see the in the Bible, the Pharisees, they honored God with their lips, but their hearts were far, far away from God. Yes, the Pharisees made, uh, missed the primary purpose of prayer, that is to develop a relationship with God. Also, another reason we need to pray is that some things will not happen unless we pray. Because in the book of James, it says that you do not have it because you do not ask. Also, we can say it in another way that if we don't use the key, the door will not open. Yes, God can change our circumstances if we use the key and call out to Him for help. So let us not give up. Let's keep praying and let us not lose heart because God has placed in our hand the key, but it's up to us whether you want to use it or you don't want to use it. Also another reason we can say that prayer shows God how desperately we want something. When we pray out of desperation, we touch God's heart and catch His ear. Our prayer shows Him how desperately we want something. Uh, We can see as Jesus was passing uh, by, there were two blind men who were sitting by the road and they cried out, Lord have mercy on on us and even though there was a huge crowd surrounded him Jesus stopped and he heard their cries yes he heard the cry of the woman who had a bleeding problem for for nearly 12 years and she touched the hem of his garment even though there was a large crowd touching Jesus but Jesus felt the power leave him and that lady was healed that very moment And here we see that the blind man and this woman, they were desperately calling Jesus and Jesus heard their prayer. Yes, we can say that prayer is like a powerful tool today for communicating with our Heavenly Father. It's an opportunity uh, like to become one with the Creator and the giver of all things. And prayer helps us to find strength for today and a hope for our future. So we should actively pray and trust in its power to change our circumstances for good. Amen.